you look at these two teams, both with strong rebounding numbers. Uh, Kevin, we are talking about two teams who play a physical, aggressive style. There is no back down on either side. I would anticipate a rugged interior game that might lead to a little bit of chippiness right up your alley, Kevin. Oh, but don't we love these kind of games? I mean, these are a blast to call. No doubt. Irving's shot is good. Irving's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for Brooklyn. The cleverness, the fearlessness. Kyrie Irving outstanding at finding spots inside to capitalize from. Now here's James. Nice D from Durant. In the corner, Irving with it. For the three. The Lakers with the rebound. Here's James. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kevin Durant. Still playing at an MVP level. LeBron James, the greatest player of his generation, and some would argue of all time. We can't take for granted what we've been able to witness. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. Floats one up. Six to shoot. Easily outside. And a miss there on the triple. And now in his mid-30s, LeBron showing no sign of slowing down. His dedication to training and, and really maintaining his body second to none. Uh, alongside his prodigious athleticism, it seems that's made a huge difference. Irving from long range. A three-pointer is right on target. Irving's got five points so far. Well, this is the beauty of Kyrie Irving. You think of him as a creator, but this guy in a catch-and-shoot just as lethal. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. James with the bucket. Yeah, the easy lift on the jumper by LeBron. That, that's really hard to defend, guys. He hangs. It will not find the hoop. It's his third miss. He has made two. Lavert. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Think about the Nets' Kenny Atkinson, a finalist last season for NBA Coach of the Year. This young coach got a well-deserved contract extension. And what I love is his team competes at a high level every night. Here's LeBron. And it's sent back by Allen. Boy, you've got to watch those long arms of Jared Allen twice on the pipe. Send it back again controls the rebound and puts it back up and in and folks he did not luck into that one he knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard and it's McGee with the jam it's incredible to me Kevin how remarkably in tune LeBron is with the movement of his teammates the guy is a scorer he's a creator he's a force to be reckoned with And Doris, you think about how hard this Brooklyn team competes. I think they take right after their head coach. No, I don't think there's any doubt, Kevin. Coach Atkinson is still willing to get on the court and jump into drills with his players. Let's remember, going back to the early days of his career, he was a player development coach. And before that, yes, he even played. That effort and willingness to break a sweat very much reflected in his group. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. 
What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. And the bright lights of L.A. perhaps too much for some players. But you know what, Greg? <laughs> Not for LeBron James. This guy thrives in the spotlight. The Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy his championship ambitions. Off the court, the City of Angels perfect for maximizing his business aspirations. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Down low. And stolen by LeBron. Tipped. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. And Harris wide open. He shoots. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Jordan. And beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. And so it's Brooklyn. Uh, We've hey, got buddy. more in store for you right after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And uh, from Brooklyn, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? They just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Well, Kevin, Kenny Atkinson, who's a native of Long Island, now has his dream job, coaching the Brooklyn Nets. He doesn't need praise or recognition. Instead, he's fueled by the fear of failure. He says, I always feel like I'm one banana peel away from never being in the NBA again. And Kevin, he's got his team playing with that same determination. David, he sure does. Thank you very much. And stolen by Prince. Pass to Harris. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Los Angeles trails by nine. To the inside. Davis. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal. Has that exceptional feel for when one of his guys is open. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. You can see it doors for some of these good teams trying to build momentum as we get closer to the postseason. You seem to know and understand which teams are good on both sides of the basketball. Are they top five efficiency offense and defense? And as you know, Kevin, if there's a player with a hot hand, that can really make a difference in round one. Absolutely. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Misses. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And stolen by Harris. Tinwitty drives in. It's taken away by Smith. James looking around. Can they get it? Here's McGee. Out to Smith. Let's it go with a three. Knocked loose. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Tough. No good on that one. And it's the Lakers the other way. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's James. Rebound, Brooklyn. To the middle. Jordan with the rebound. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much wow. the same. Two. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Brooklyn shooting their first free throws of the night right here. 
And so Jamal Crawford nails both of them. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Well, DeAndre Jordan remains one of the best rebounders in the NBA. His ability to dominate the glass and get you extra possession is just a thing of beauty. The Lakers have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. And with DeAndre Jordan, the rebounding is as strong as ever, Doris. But what about the rim protection? Well, I think, obviously, DeAndre's block totals aren't what they used to be when he was turning away two shots a game. But there's more to defense than just blocking shots. And Jordan remains a plus defender. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Allen with the rebound. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And it's Levert missing. Los Angeles trails by 18. LeBron, left shot. Nice D from Durant. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. He always had great instincts defensively. Rondo using that length there to come up with the steal. It's good on the putback. Allen's got four points in the quarter. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Irving drives in. Boy, Irving decisive on that drive. Gets the foul because of the intensity, taking it to the rack. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And the first one drops. Both free throws, good for Irving. 12 seconds left in the first half of the game. Now here's LeBron. And stolen by Prince. And so it's Brooklyn. Controlling the game and finishing... Here now is Dinwiddie. Pops it up for Jordan. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Rondo, wide open. Buries the long-range jumper. Rondo's got the first points of the second half here for Los Angeles. And they pick up two. They are just killing them on the interior. In the corner, Smith with it. No good from outside. Brooklyn leading by 19 points. It's Jordan on the wing. To the paint. Prince. What a pretty look. DeAndre Jordan, to have that kind of touch on your passing, such a quality piece for a big man. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. To the right side. Dinwiddie wide open. The quick look no good that time. The drive by James. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. And 11 points to LeBron. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Los Angeles trails by 16. On the trade for Anthony Davis, a risk for the Lakers, but they feel, Greg, that both sides will find an extension this offseason. There is mutual interest from both sides. Lakers made the trade confident 
Davis would resign. A bit of a leap of faith, but the Lakers did everything they could to secure Davis long term. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? PA, great assessment, good report, thank you so much. For Los Angeles, they get most of their free throws tonight, five of six. Doris, so interesting to watch seven-footers who almost never shot three-pointers make that now a featured part of their game. Give some credit to the coaches who recognized the game was being revolutionized and that three-point shooting, regardless of position, would become integral to success. So a guy like Marcus Gasol, who actually fought the idea of taking threes, Brooke Lopez, Nikola Vucevic, all of them have become more integral to team success and more uh, capable NBA players because they can shoot the basketball. It's beautiful. It is evolving and adapting at that size has been something to watch. The Lakers have shot 75% at the stripe, six of eight. Both free throws, good from McGee. Brooklyn leading by 13. Pass to Levert. Irving for three. It's a hand on it. Great positioning on the putback. Well, not sure who was responsible for the block out, but this guy got in there and dug out his points. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. Stolen by Levert. The D feels like it's everywhere, and that pass should not have been made. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Pass to James. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And you can see what he wanted to do there, but that was a tough giveaway. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Pass to Ronda. Back to LeBron. No good, shot missing. Nice defense from KD. And the shots just continued to say no in terms of falling. You know, Irving isn't just a perimeter player. He's so dynamic inside as a scorer. His strength is savvy, tough to keep the defense on balance. First one falls for him. Well, this guy, Kyrie Irving, just so reminiscent of his idol, Kobe Bryant. He is one of the cold-blooded scorers in the game, an absolute torture for a defender to guard. Smith outside, to stop the run, and Jordan sends it back. This is not the guy you want in your zip code when the ball is going up. DeAndre Jordan twice on the pipes. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. Brooklyn shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The first one falls. Well, we continue to be, to me, in the golden age of point guards in the NBA. And Kyrie Irving is right there with the best of them in that discussion. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul goes against Brooklyn. For Los Angeles, they have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. 
It just seems like LeBron James doesn't age. Still so dominant in the second half of his career. This guy is incredible in virtually every statistical category. Here's McGee. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. Pops it up for Jordan. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Great communication on the alley-oop. And you can sense there, Rondo, taking some pride in shredding the D with his passing. Has exceptional vision. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. The Nets have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. He hits the second from the line. Five seconds left in the third quarter of the game. That's a two from Smith. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What a performance for Connie Three Points. Rebounds. And looks to be planning for more. Back right after this. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Here's Caruso. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's his first foul. And here's Chandler who brings it up for Brooklyn. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Pass to Harris. That shot off the mark. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Smith outside. And there's the call. It's on Spencer Dinwiddie. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Green. A three off the inbound. The offensive rebound. LeBron outside. Tries again. That one's not going to go. Nice D from Chandler. For three, Harris. Rebound the Lakers. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Green, no luck. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. And Woody with the bucket. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. LeBron outside, over Harris, and again, no good by the Lakers. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Doris, if you had a list of players with all the great talent in this league that's the most difficult to stop one-on-one, -on -one, who would that be? Well, like in similar situations, I can't give you just one. Some names that come immediately to mind, James Harden, obviously, has been in the MVP race for five years running, I think. He's virtually impossible yes. to guard, right? He's got a great system for his individual skills. Kevin Durant can get any shot he wants at any time. And then the virtuoso, that is LeBron James, who can pick you apart with shooting, with scoring, with passing. He's really nothing short of remarkable. Fires for three. Kuzma pulls it in. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Green inside the three-point line. That shot, no good. Timeout, timeout. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And Doris Danny Green included in that Kawhi DeRozan trade. And Brooklyn making a change here. Brooklyn leading by 22. Allen outside. Pass to Harris. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Well, good night for the defense. Dwight Howard finishes with authority. 
inside. Here's Allen. And it's Allen with the jam. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. And Chandler, here we go. He gets it in there. Chandler's got four this quarter. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Here's Irving. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Boy, that's Kyrie right there. He draws so much defensive attention. Guys want to be physical with him, but this guy able to take contact so well for his size. Good on both. Boy, you talk about the all-time great below-the-rim finishers. Kyrie Irving is on that list. He can use either hand. So much English. This guy is tough. Buries it from three-point range. You're going to have to guard him differently because Danny Green has got big-time range. You've got to extend your defense. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. you, you got to love that no, one, Kevin. A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. In Adoris, as great a scorer as he is, Kyrie Irving doesn't draw a ton of fouls. Kevin, I think that has everything to do with his elusivity. This is a young man who can finish with either hand, can get separation on any defender. This is the one thing you'd say about Kyrie Irving. He does not initiate contact around the rim. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Nets. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so taking a look at their season record, this will be win number 31 on the year. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Kyrie Irving. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Here's LeBron. He can't get it to go. Excellent tee there from Allen. Irving's shot is good. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork, GA. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Here's Kuzma. Nice D from Chandler. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Here's Temple. They get the rebound. Allen. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, this is exactly the kind of position you want Jared Allen shooting from, right? He gets excellent position, makes defenders nervous this close. Good job drawing that foul. Second free throw, no good. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well.